Okay, Scott, so uh, we're here at Bishop's Cleave after a, a narrow defeat against the Southern League side. Uh, with your young team this evening, very young team, you must be very pleased with their efforts tonight. Yeah, I am. I'm, you know, we're asking them to play a different way, a slightly, because we've always tried to get the ball down, to be fair, but it is, it is a little bit different and they're enjoying it. And you can, you can tell in, in the performance that, um, that they're enjoying it, bought into to what Mark and Scott want, want them to do. And, and again, it's part of my role to make sure the youth team do the same, and I, I think that's, that's great, and we'll, we'll keep rolling that down. But you're right, it was um, a very youthful performance. I think at the end of the game, we were last sort of half an hour, I think the average age of 17, 16, before Jack Watts came back on for us. Um, so yeah, we, you know, lots of encouraging uh, performances. Yeah, definitely. And you still haven't had a huge amount of time on, on the training ground. Uh, but yet, when you consider that as a performance in comparison, perhaps to the one at Evesham at the start of pre-season, just goes to show how much progress has been made by some of the young players and everyone overall. Yeah, and, and you're right. I mean, we've been in, we think we've had 12 or 13 sessions, but probably half of those are we're in and we're helping the first team, so obviously their season starts first. So for me, it's about being available, being ready, learning um, different ways from Scott and Mark and, and portraying those different uh, coaching methods across to the boys. And our pre-season will start properly when the first team season starts, if that makes sense, because our league starts in September rather than August. And this was a Bishop's Cleave team, you know, with senior players, you know, going to be playing a competitive league against the likes of Hereford and, and Salisbury this season. You had 16-year-old lads there who've only been with the club for, for two weeks, putting in some very impressive showings. Yeah, I, th I thought we did we did really well. I mean, you're right; they're they're competitive. I think if they um, if they play how they did, they might end up with 10 men more often than not. So that's something they'll have to have a look at because I thought that um, the tackle on Jack Holmes um, was a disgrace. Um, so the lads had a bit of bad luck. He's had a broken back last year and looks like a suspe suspected broken leg um, this evening. So we're here now and we shouldn't be in this situation, you know, it's a game of football and these things happen but um, the attitude of their, one or two of their players, not all of them, one or two when, when the tackle went in was, was poor. Yeah, I think everyone could see that, the attitude of some of their players and it must be disappointing in a pre-season game where both teams are warming up but someone thought it was acceptable to, to tackle like that. Yeah, it is, it is and that's down to the individual, it's not a reflection on Bishop's Cleave as a club because they're friends of ours, you know, I've gotten really well with and they've got some, some good lads here, we just had Jack and Leroy in for, for two weeks, they're friends of ours but, you know, it, it is disappointing, I'd be disappointed if our players um, behave like that. Yeah, and uh, moving on next, I know you've got uh, a very busy schedule, but not just with your young side, but of course some other friendlies that these players will have a big, heavy involvement with. Yeah, some great games. I just said to the boys there that, you know, we scored a brilliant goal, well-worked goal. Tommy Anderson scored a good goal, a good move with Louis, Stokesy, Giancarlo, all the academy boys involved. Scored a great goal to go 2-1 up, and at that point, you know, um, just said he got to switch on because we conceded a goal straight after that. Um, without even touching the ball, I think, and then and then another one a bit later when we're chasing chasing the game a little bit. But you know, for me, we can't replicate these sort of tests in training. We can't. You can put them in with the first team boys, and that is brilliant. Um, but to to come and play against a competitive side, um, you know, on on a on, a, on a, a more difficult surface. Let's be honest, we're blessed with beautiful pitch at the stadium, beautiful training ground pitches we go to. So we got Bristol City tomorrow. It'd be like a bowling green. So. Um, Tests like this we can't replicate in training, so you know, we, like, like you said, we're fortunate we've got four or five more of these sort of tests coming up before our season starts. Yeah, and it must be pleasing for you, of course, considering they came through your system, but to see lads like Joe Stokes and Louis McGorry both wearing the captain's armband, and particularly Stokes at the end there playing in a back three because of injuries, you know, he was almost as better as a centre back tonight as, as many other of them. Well, there. the thing is, the way Mark wants them to play, they want to go and get the ball from there, so if you've got someone with the ability Joe's got, that may well suit him. You know, who's to say that doesn't end up being his position? Um, but again, we have to be adaptable, you know, we were stretched a little bit. We, we play Bristol City in the morning. Um, so a number of these boys will, will be rested for that now because they, they played more minutes tonight than, than, than we thought they were going to. But that's a reflection on, on, you know, we got some of the boys off a little bit earlier than we were going to. You know, I thought that um, Ollie Mayhew was outstanding tonight. So he came off, you know, scheduled to play right up till, till the end, really. And we, we took him off just after an hour um, to save his legs because he may be used tomorrow. If not, I might take him down to Bristol City and get, get him a few more minutes. But, you know, we, we plan everything. You can't, you can't plan for every eventuality, you know, injuries in the last few minutes and things like that. But um, it's, going, it's going really well. I was really encouraged. But the first team were outstanding, I thought, against Cardiff. Um, the other night and, and then it gives the boys a real clear picture you know, of what they're trying to achieve. 